A Lakewood woman's recovering after she crashed at the Fox Hollow golf course while driving home from work. Rachel Hammock was found several hours later penned under her truck last Tuesday. Denver 7 Sam Pena spoke with the Good Samaritan who helped save her life. Piers, she came straight off right through that thicket over there. When he arrived for work last week at the Fox Hollow golf course, Steve Abraham was greeted with this. He was, our truck was upside down. A truck that crashed through the course's barbed wire fence. Came around the front. And inside. And she was pinned by the truck and her leg was across like this and uh, she was laying in the barbed wire fence. Rachel Hammock, the truck's driver who was heading home from work in the early morning hours. He had been here probably four hours. Steve helped care for Rachel before first responders arrived. I was getting the barbed wire kind of away from her body. I had to cut her hair out because uh, she was stuck in there. And at St. Anthony's Hospital, she was placed in a medically induced coma. The doctor called, um, went through all the injuries one at a time. I had to ask her just pause because I need a minute and I, I really did. Um, I was just imagining everything that she went through. Rachel's parents, Sam and Thomas, flew in from South Carolina after getting a call from her boyfriend, Eben. All I can think is I need to get to my girl. Sam is now doing her best to help Rachel recover, even placing her favorite childhood toy by her bedside. She's strong and that she'll come through, so I'm just trying my best to stay positive. Rachel underwent surgery last Thursday and is now starting her recovery process. It's going to get her back to skiing and hula hooping and rock climbing and all the stuff that she loves to do. Positive signs for her loved ones who are relieved. We know she's going to recover and she's going to have an amazing story. And thankful. I appreciate prayers and uh, we have hope. For those who saved their daughter's life. Glad that she's able to be alive and be with her family and, and continue life. For Denver 7, I'm Sam Pena. When we are